Howdy, it's Kyle raiding the flags of many American cities. This video is not going to be me taking a look at all of the flags of cities and giving them a ranking, but rather taking a look at the official ratings of the North American Vexillological Association, the NAVA, and seeing how my opinions of these flags compare and contrast to theirs. In 2022, the NAVA sponsored a survey in which about 3,000 participants rated flags of American cities, but not all the flags, just the ones adopted since 2015. So many cities have had a flag for a long time, but in this survey, they only rated the ones most recently adopted. So participants rated the flags on a score of 1 to 10, and after they were completed, they were divided up into letter grades like you would get in school, A through F. So what I'm going to be doing is doing it as a ranking 1 through 10 and going with a 0.5 scale, so maybe 6.5, 8.5 kind of thing, but just comparing and contrasting how a geographer would look at some of these flags as opposed to some of these flag experts with the NAVA. Okay, so this is the map of the different cities whose flags were part of this survey. And before I start, I want to point out that the NAVA wanted me to mention how the results of this survey are not their own opinions, but the opinions of the people who took the survey itself. So, and also they asked several content creators such as myself to show some of the results and just give our reaction to some of the stuff. So I looked at a few of the flags here, but didn't do too many. So I'm going to zoom in and just start going over these flags and giving them my personal opinions on these. So we'll start off here in Washington, up here, Bellingham. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice flag. It's kind of like a watermelon, I guess. Um, they gave it a B plus. I'm going to, just starting off here, I'm going to score this a 7.5. I think, I think it looks pretty good. So we'll use it as kind of a baseline. Concrete. Oh, wow. What is that? That is awful. That is a, uh, a terrible flag. That looks like Mario paint from Super Nintendo. That's awful. Um, I give it a one. That's terrible. Oh, that's terrible too. That's uh that's a two. Uh, I'm going to give that one a three. So with a few that I looked at, a lot of them just have something like this. It looks almost like a corporate logo. And I'm going to give those a two just around the, just by matter of course, and these ones where it's just a logo of the city, probably like a three. I haven't seen that many of them, but like this one's not very good. I'll give that one a three. All right. Aberdeen. Wow, that's pretty lame looking. Um, people gave it a C. I think it's pretty bad. I'm going to give it a four. DuPont. That's way too busy. I'll give it a three. That looks like a corporate logo right there. That's a two. That's awful. Another corporate logo, too. Uh, that's kind of busy. I kind of like it. But uh looks like the mountains. I don't know what that is above the mountains, but um, I'll give this one a 6.5. What? Uh, that's awful. Uh, that's terrible. Looks like kids designed it. Uh, I'm giving it a 3. Another city logo. That one doesn't look as bad. Um, I'll give that one a 4. That one's not as bad as terms of a logo that looks corporate that looks like a two to me um another corporate one two uh that's a pretty nice look of flag shows the you know the wheat growing heritage of the region uh rolling hills uh, i like this one i'm gonna give this one an eight that's a pretty good looking flag palouse yeah the people liked this one i don't i think it's too I don't like the color contrast of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 5.5. .5. I don't like it that much. Spokane. Uh, looks pretty good. The blue makes it look like it might be a city on the ocean. Um, but I think it overall looks pretty good. I'm going to give this one a 7. Liberty Lake. Never heard of it. Uh, uh Statue of Liberty head, yeah, it's okay. I'll give this one a 5.5. .5. Um, this is going pretty slow. I don't want this video to go on forever. All right, um, wow, what is this thing? This is in Washington, that's ugly. Uh, give that one a three. That's, uh, that's a 3.5. It's not a, as bad of a city logo. <laughs> Looks like a corporate logo, give it a two. Uh, that's pretty cool looking. I like the color scheme. The green and blue is kind of a northwestern color scheme. That one looks pretty good. Silverton with the S. Um, <clears throat> we'll get that one an 8.5. That's a nice looking flag for Salem. Um, 
It's got the star. It's a state capital. So, yeah, I like this one. People liked it. I'm going to give it a nine. Albany. Uh, that's I like the colors, but it's just weird. It looks like a freeway interchange. Um, I don't like it. I'm going to give it a 5.5, .5, slightly above average. Let's go over to Idaho. Caldwell. That's nah, terrible. The font looks terrible. That's terrible. That's a 2. Pocatel gets an A. People like this one. It looks like South Park art to me. That looks too amateurish. I'm surprised it gets such a high rating. Um, it looks just like South Park art. I'm going to give this one a 5.5. .5. I'll give it a 6. It looks looks kind of cool, but it does look like South Park art. Butte, Montana. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, uh, no, it's kind of ugly. I'll give it a 5. Um, go down to Wyoming here. Nothing in Wyoming. Colorado. No, corporate look, two. So many of these look the same, two. Now that's, I like that one. That one's pretty cool looking. Um, it's a little busy. Colors are kind of loud, but I think it works well. A lot of these western cities are starting to look kind of the same with their mountains and the sun over it. But this one does a, I think a better job than Pocatello, which got a really high rating. Look at that. That got an A. I get to C plus? I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I like this one better. I'm going with a six and a half on this one. Aspen, uh, it's simple. Uh, snowflake, aspen leaf, that's, I like it. Simple is what it needs to be. Uh, give it an 8.5. Over to Utah. What? That looks like a cult flag. I don't like that. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A cross or a, pl I don't know. I don't like it. Um, 5.5 no 2 uh, there's a nice looking flag that's a, that's a good one I can see how it got an A from the from the vexillologist um, I'll give this one a 9 no that one's a 2 no a 2 man there's so many mountains with the sun over it this one looks better than all those other ones um Seven and a half. That's the same thing. It's just... That one looks worse because it's got Orem written in it. So I'm going to give this one a six. Ew, that's a lot going on. Um, it's all right. I'll give it a, a six and a half. Um, that looks like South Park art also. It just looks so amateurish. Um... You know, a five and a half. Uh, that, that's all right. I like this one. Um, simple, sunny, very sunny place. I'll give it an 8.5. Going over to Nevada. Reno. Yep, Reno. A plus for this one. Wow, that's another one of the mountain with... A plus, not just an F. I mean, I like it. I'm going to give it an 8.5 but not the 10 that they like it as. Um, Reading, they like this one a lot too. Uh, the white is that bridge in town. It's kind of weird to have a bridge be part of your logo. Uh, I like it. I'll give it an 8. Fol Whoa. It's kind of trippy looking. Uh, I like the color contrast, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird looking. It's almost like it's like a cracked mirror kind of thing. Um, uh, I like it though. I'll give it an eight. Oh God, Davis, that's hideous. I'll give it. I want a two. If it was just the bike, that'd be really cool. But with David, no, it's stupid. San Rafael, what? What? San Rafael, the city with a. Oh Lord, the city with a mission. That's about as pretentious. That is, that's very San Rafael. All right, that gets that deserves an F. I give it a two. Belvedere, that's hideous. Uh, I'll give it a four. At least it's not. Yeah, I'll give it a three and a half. Delray Oak, little tiny town. I'm surprised they even have a flag. Is it actually in black and white? Um, looks awful. I'll give it a three. Clovis, this is near where I'm from. D minus. Wow, they hate this flag. I. I think it's all right. I think Vexlol just don't like it when you have words on it. 
I think this looks okay. The Clovis is, has a well-known rodeo there, so I think this one's all right. I'm going to give this one a, a six. Coming down south, Riverside. Uh, there's no water on the river. Um, that looks pretty cool. That's a nice looking flag. Give it an eight. Yorba Linda. That looks pretty nice. I uh, like it a little bit better than that one. I'll give it an 8.5. Anaheim. I mean, it looks like a nice flag, but it also looks like it's a country's flag or something. It looks like it's way more important than Anaheim. But um, the flag itself is a nice looking flag. The colors look good together. Um, yeah, I'll give it an 8.5. <laughs> Huntington Beach, what is this? This looks... Uh, without the Huntington Beach written on there, it would be kind of folksy, hokey, okay, but with Huntington Beach and that stupid-looking font, I a three tops. Julian, that's eh, another mountain with the moon, at least. Um, kind of busy, not real big on it. Um, I'll give it a six. It's also kind of South Park art-like. I don't know why it's such a common art style. Um, Yuma, that's stupid, too. That's a corporate logo. Two. Two, these are awful. Oh, the logo is really cool, Tempe, but when you put, with a copyright, no, that looks stupid. That looks really stupid. Give it a two. Just the T itself would be like an eight. It's a nice looking logo. Peoria, another South Park looking, this looks, this hurts my eyes. Um. The people like it though. I, I give it a six. I think it's okay. That's ugly too. Oh lord, that's no, no. That's a way to, way to ruin the New Mexico flag, which is beautiful. Give that one a two. Uh, it looks almost like Somalia's flag, I think. Uh, <laughs> that's all right though. I like this. Is looks all right. I give it a seven point five. Um, no, a two, uh, that's, that, that looks okay. I'll give it a, a 6.5. No, too busy, a three. Wow, the people hated this one. I, I think it's okay. I think it's kind of like that Clovis one. I think that, that if it says the city in a tasteful way, I think it's okay. A Texas flag with a live oak in it. I think that's okay. Uh, definitely not an F. I'll give it a five and a half. That's hideous, too. And bright red isn't good for the base of a color or for the base of a flag. I think it looks too obnoxious as a color for maybe a, a deeper. I don't like it. I give it a four. Ugh, that's ugly. A two. I'll give it a three. I'll give it. A th I'll be nice. What on earth is that? That is awful. That is horrifying. That's that's a zero. That's a one. That's a one. That takes. That's the biggest loser so far. Two. That's all right. Uh, looks almost like. The the Philippine? No, not the Philippines. There's a national flag. It looks kind of like that. Um, I like this. I'll give it a seven. No, I'll give it a. I'll give it an eight. Pretty good looking flag. Um, no corporate logo. Two, two, two. All these. Some of these look so similar. It's, it's almost like they hired the same guy on Fiverr to do their flags. All right, Oklahoma Lawton. Uh, that's a. That's a three. That's that's a two. Uh, the people like no. It's a nice looking flag. This is a way to do red as your main color, but not be obnoxious. It's not such a bright red. Um, this is a good looking flag. I give it a. I give this one a nine. It's a good good flag. Bad flag. This one gets a two. Tulsa, very nice. A plus. Another A plus. Um. This, this is a nice looking flag. I like this one a lot. I'm going to give it a 9.5. I think Tulsa's winning so far. This is, it looks like it's flying back, like it's flying in reverse. 
Uh, I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to give it a 6.5. There's a lot in Kansas. That's too busy. It's all right, though. I'll give it a 5. Uh, that's pretty good. I like that one. That's a... Got the wheat in there. Good 7.5. No, I'll give it an 8. Oh, that's like a WNBA team's logo. Um, 5.5. 5 5.5. 5. I, I like what it's going for, but I think it's t the, the base of the A. There's too much blue in that top thing. Looks like a superhero font. I don't, uh, I'll give it a six. Ugh. Wow, the people like this one kind of. I don't, I think it looks ugly. Um, give it a five. I don't like it at all. Oh, and there's a cool looking one. Nice color scheme, wheat and railroad crossing. Yeah, this is a nice one. Um, a nine. Yeah, that looks like a, that's too busy. That's a four. But this, it looks okay, but it looks like a corporate logo also, but like a good one. Um, I'll give it a six. That's a nice looking flag. That's a real nice looking flag. Um, yeah, I like this one. Eight and a half, 8.5. Lindsberg. The people didn't like it. Um, has a Swedish heritage. I like the Swedish horse. The background is a really generic thing. I think I've seen that somewhere else. Um, hmm, I'll give it a six. The little apple. Uh, I like the, what they're going for with that, but I don't know if I like the color. Um, I'll give it a seven. Oh, now there's a nice looking flag. I like that. It's a state capital of the Sunflower State. We've got the star. That's a... Yeah, 9.5. This is might be my favorite so far. This one in Tulsa. Hmm, looks like the Colorado flag on its side with fields of wheat. Uh, I, I get Colorado vibes from this. I have to rate it low. I'm going to rate it like a five. Four, oh, actually, wait lower. That looks awful. Actually, four. Those wheat fields look terrible. I'm getting Canada vibes from this one. Uh, I guess there are a lot of maple trees here. Uh, the flag, the, the leaf looks way too much like the Canadian flag one, so that just gives me a bad first impression. I like Canada, but it gives me a bad first impression in terms of it's not original, so I'll give it a five. Ooh, that's corporate. looks terrible. That's awful. That's a, that's a, that's a one. That, that, that's awful. Uh, God, what? Uh, I mean, I've been giving the corporate ones two, so I'll give that one a two. Two, two, what? Above and beyond by design? No, no. You get a one for that. That's awful. Uh, I like this one. Purple with the wheat, the wagon wheel. That's good for Nebraska. A little busy, but I do think this looks really good, actually. I'm going uh, to give it a nine. Wow, this is a... It's a very striking flag. I, when I first see it, I think New Mexico. I get a very southwestern vibe, although I assume that's probably meant to be the state capitol building in there. A really cool looking flag. I'm yeah, really cool looking. I'm just this is a a nine. I like it. Uh, I think the sky needs a little bit of off white coloring or something. It's, it's okay. I'll give this one a six point five. Ooh, that's too much going on. That's like a sun shining on another sun. What's going on here? I don't know. There's too much going on. Uh, five. So, that's pretty cool. The, the falls in downtown Sioux Falls have that kind of a look to it, like a cascade. Um, yeah, good looking flag here. Um, 8.5. Oh, Rapids, what? The, the, Mount Rushmore isn't even in Rapids? No, no, you get a zero for that. That's false advertising. The city of, no, no, city of presidents, no, no, no. Aberdeen, this is a pretty cool looking one. Um, yeah, nice take on a similar type cross design. Yeah, 8.5. 
Only one for North Dakota. Mine. Oh God, that's awful. Right, that's a two. Ooh, that's a. Uh, I don't like it when they put actual foreign flag references. I mean, it's one thing to have a Florida Lee like this one does, but to have an actual Norwegian flag, that's I don't I don't like it. Um, I'll give it a three. Duluth, that looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like a national flag of Namibia. I don't know. I'm not good with national flags. Um, this one looks okay. I don't like it as much as the crowd does, so I'm going to give it an 8. Nope, corporate 2. Oh, that's terrible. 2. Wait. It's the same. It's the same flag, but with the corporate logo and the... This one looks pretty good, but if it came after that one, it's terrible. So I'll give this one an 8.5, but if it came after this one, it gets a negative 10, because this thing looks stupid with that logo. Anyway, I hate when flags were very, oh, were very similar. This is two, looks like a store flag. Uh, it's a little bit better, I guess, a three, I suppose. Looks like a baseball team thing. Uh, two, two. So many of them have that kind of, Blue, two different shades of blue and that shade of green. That's very corporate. Looks stupid. Hmm. The people don't like this one. I kind of like it. Without that 1870 there, I think it's a really good flag. It's Lyle, has an L. Man, if it didn't have the 1870, I'm still going to give it a 6.5. I still think it looks pretty good, but it could be a 9 without that the date on there. What on earth is this? Um, it looks weird, but I think there's an island and a lake. Uh, I guess that's supposed to represent that. I'll give it a six. Green Bay? No. De Pair? Eh. That looks better than some of those other the city logo ones. So I'll give that one a, a four. Madison? Uh, that's cool. I like that one. Not as much as the field. Um. I'll give it an 8. No, oh, that looks stupid. Uh, 3. No, it looks, eh, I'll give it a 4. No, 2. 2. Those same colors. Those same color schemes. Uh, South Milwaukee. <laughs> no, that's a 2. Kenosha, that's a 2. Wow, these are... Ugh. It'd be nice without the Grays Lake written there. Um, I'll give it a four. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird looking B. I'll give it a six. Oh, it's awful. Looks like a company flag. Um, I'll give it a three. Eh, that's all right. River wheel. Um, yeah, that's all right. I'll give this one a seven. I like it. Oh, wow. There is way too much going on on this one. Wow, way too much. This is a one. This is awful. <laughs> I mean, it's got kind of a folksy, hokey look to it. I kind of like that, but it's terrible. That's a that's a two. No, that's a, yeah, it's a two. It's awful. Too much going on here. Um, a two. That looks way generic. That looks like every other logo. That's a two. Eh, it needs some kind of color on it, not just a white background. I give that one a three. A two. That looks a little bit better for what it's trying to do, but still a three. Ugh, a two. Uh, that's a good looking flag. Um, I like those colors together, the Fleur de Lis, uh, French Heritage. Oh, that's a good looking flag. I like that one. I'll give it an eight. There's one back behind it. I can't see it though. Oh, I wish I didn't see it. Two. Ooh, that's. The people like it. I don't. Look kind of Dominican Republic with. 
a weird circle of people in it. Um, I, I don't like that logo, that symbol, whatever. It's people holding hands or, I don't know. I'll give it a six. It's okay. Uh, this one's pretty cool looking. I like this one a lot. Um, this one is an 8.5. No, two. Ah, that's weird looking. It looks like a, I don't know, that's weird looking. Um, six. <laughs> that's a one. That looks stupid. Looks like a cult symbol. Um, wow, the people really like it. I don't like it that much. Uh, I'll give it a seven. Asylums, uh, too much writing on it. The logo itself is fine, but I'll give it a three. That's a two, uh, that's a three. It's not as bad as the other ones. That, that's not a three. Only one in Louisiana. Metairie doesn't have a flag, I'm surprised. And this is what you would expect from Metairie. It's a good looking flag. It's, um, yeah, I like it. This is an eight. No, two, uh, three. Oh God, that's a, that's a one. That's awful. No, that's a two. <laughs> yeah, that's a one. Who remember all of these came out since 2015. Somebody since 2015 decided that this thing would be a good choice of a flag. I mean, who, Lord. Okay, that's that's a two. That is just. Is it meant to have those crinkles? Like it's meant to look like it's. I don't know. I. It, it's kind of nice, but not as a flag. I give it a four. Two. <laughs> Two. Oh. Why are all the river systems of Alabama on this flag of one town? Uh, I don't like it. Three. Two. That's pretty cool, even though it is just the city logo. It looks all right. People gave it a f an F. I think it's actually kind of good. Um, I'll give it a six. Uh, that's... Mm, give it a three. Three. Uh, that one's all right. Um, you wouldn't think that's in Alabama based on that, but... Uh, yeah, I'll give it a six. Go down here. No, two. That's a nice looking flag. Um, no, yeah, that's an 8.5. That's nice. No, good. There's way too much going on there. Looks awful. A one. Hmm, a three. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Without the thing on the left saying City of Lake Wales, I think it looks okay. I see what they're going for when this is flying underneath a U.S. and state flag. Having the city name like that on the side doesn't look as bad, but still. Uh, I'll give it a five. Oh, no, way too much going on there. One, I hate Orlando. I want this flag to be awful. It's not that bad. Um... That's pretty good. I think the sky could be a little testing coloring to it, but I think it's a pretty good flag. I'll give it a 7.5. Ooh, that's... No, that's that looks stupid. You would think this is like a coastal town, like a lighthouse, but no, I'd give it on a, a 4. No, 2. 2. <laughs> 2. Two. Well, you guys are consistent here in Georgia, too. Are my eyes crazy, or is that square off-center? Is it tilted? I think it's probably just an optical illusion. It's probably straight. It looks weird. I kind of like it. I don't like it as much as the crowd does, but I'll give it a seven. Eh, three. That's Columbia's flag. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think it looks okay. I'm surprised that's what Columbia went with, but I think it's a good-looking flag. I'll give it a 7.5. Monk's Corner. Uh, it's a take on the state flag. I think it borrows too much from the state flag, though. So I'm going to give it a 6. That's, uh, that's kind of cool looking. It's, uh, yeah, I like it. I'm going to give it a, well, I'll give it a six and a half. Man, people really like that one. I think it's okay. I'll give it a seven. No, a three, three. That is just the state flag with your city in the middle of it. That's stupid. That's really stupid. That's really stupid. Flying underneath the state flag, that looks dumb. I'm going to give it a two. No, two. You put a T, you put a trademark TM on, no, a one for that alone. That does, that's like the Tennessee state flag. What are you guys doing? No, that's a one. You guys are in North Carolina. No, this it looks too hokey, too too childish. I don't like it. Five. It doesn't need to say Fayetteville in there. Um, four. Uh, it looks kind of like a national flag. I'm not sure what country. Um, that's okay. I'll give it a six. Two. Durham. This is what Durham came up with. I don't know. It's, it looks very national flag-like. And I don't like national-looking flags for a city. But I'll give it a 6.5. 6.5. Two. There's a few in here. I have no idea how to pronounce that one. But the flag is stupid, so you get a two. This is taking forever. All right. No, two. <laughs> I mean, it's the right thing for Lexington. Uh, it's almost too simple. It's the right thing, but it's too simple. I give it a six. Looks too federal. Um, no, four. Eh, three. That uh, looks just like a national... What country is that? Marshall Islands? I don't know. It's weird for a city flag, especially a small town. I'll give it a six. Too much going on there. Eh, looks all right, though. I'll give it a five. <laughs> no, that's a one. That's awful. That looks weird with kids there. That's kind of strange. Uh it's like a school flag. I'll go to four. It's in Ohio. That's uh, that's right. I give it a five. That's a four. That's a four. It looks a little too federal there, but it looks okay. I'll give it a six. <laughs> that's awful. Come on, guys. Really? That's a that's a one. <laughs> that looks like the Nintendo GameCube thing. Wow. Uh, that, that's If the first thing you think of is Nintendo GameCube, then that's not good. That gets a three. Uh, I kind of like that one. I like it more than the crowd does. Uh, I'll give it a six. An A. Wow, the crowd likes this one a lot. I think it's okay. Give it a 7.5. I don't know how to pronounce that. Dewagiak? I have no clue. Uh, give it a 6.5. I don't like it as much as the crowd does. No. Two. Two. Four, I guess. Looks a little better than some of the other ones with the words on it. Two. <laughs> Marky Township, home of the Rainbow Wind. Um, that's awful. Give it a three. Three. Mount Clemens did a lot of 
partying at the bars there. The flag looks not very good. Doesn't need to have all the wording there. Um, for. Mm, for. Dayton. That is Dayton's flag. They came up with this in the past six years. Um, I don't know. I'm. Do I, I? I do like it. I do like this flag. Um. Yeah, I like. It. I'm gonna give it an eight. No, that's that's a three. Uh, that looks derivative. Um, give it a six. No, that's terrible. A two. That's way too derivative of the state flag. That's that's a two. It's terrible. It's like the state flag. <laughs> that looks like it was, wow, printed off from Windows 98. That looks so bad. That's a one. That's a three. Nothing in Virginia. Not a single one. <laughs> now, a flag that looks like that for any other state, I would say, is terrible. But because Maryland just loves their eye-blinding state flag, I'm going to give this one a 7. I'm going to give this one an 8 because it's Maryland. Eh, it looks all right. I'll give that one a 7. Now, I do, now, Ocean City is not on here. It must have had a flag for a while, but I love their flag. It's one of the uh, my favorite ones of cities. Now, that's a 3. Chevrolet, that's a, that's a three. That's a three. Eh, I give it a 3.5, I guess. That's a three. That's kind of cool looking if it didn't have the logo, but it, I would not think Maryland from this, but uh, I don't hate it as much as the crowd does, but I will give it a, a five and a half. 5.5. Rehoboth Beast. You came up with this in the past. No, that looks terrible, too. <laughs> you just too many country flags on there. No, that's too much. Uh, you didn't want a three. Huh? That's pretty cool. I like this one. I'll give it a six and a half. Ooh, that. I don't like it. I don't like this one. It's, I'm trying to let it see if it sits, if it settles in on me, but I don't like it. Um, I'll give it a five. There's a country's flag that looks like that. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, maybe. Um, it's okay. I like this one. Six and a half. Six point five. Oh, people don't like this one. I kind of like it. Um, wow, people don't like it. I think it's kind of cool. I'll give it a 6.5. And I don't like this one as much as the crowd does. I'll give this one a 5.5. Nanty Glow. I love the name of the town. Weird color scheme. I like the color scheme in terms of its uniqueness, but, you know, overall just, you know, I'll give it a 5. No, that's a 2. Ooh, that looks like a Maryland flag with... Huh, I kind of like it. Looks a little bit much for a small town, but, you know, I like it. I'm going to give it a... Give it a eh, I don't like it that much. I'll give it a five. <laughs> okay, so I did those. All right, so New Jersey. Uh, yeah, that one is seven. Looks all right. Staten Island gets their own flag and that's what they chose with. It looks stupid. Um go to five. No, I'll go to four. Looks like the Grateful Dead rose. Um but I think it's an okay looking flag. I'll give it a seven point five. No, that's a three. Mm, that's a three. <laughs> That's a great flag. Now, see, that's the kind of flag that is a terrible flag, but for a small town, that's a great flag. Now, I don't know what that thing in the middle is, the red thing. And I think the coloring could be different, but over, I think this is kind of a, 
an okay flag because it's for a small town. I'm going to give it a six. But if it if it was for, it's a stupid looking flag, but I think it works in this situation. That does not work. No, no matter the situation, that gets a two. Nothing in Rhode Island. Lot in Massachusetts. Two. Is that a pencil sketch? Is your flag a pencil sketch and a vertical orientation? You've got to be kidding me. That's, that's no, that's stupid. It's a cool looking sketch, but that cannot be your flag. It looks like the kind of thing you would hang off of your house, like to signify something. No, it's a two. That looks like it's Photoshop. Well, no, that looks stupid. It, no, that's a three. What is going on with Massachusetts flag? This is awful. There's way too much going on there. That's a one, two. A photo? You guys are trying to get too creative with your flags here. Um, that one doesn't look as bad, but it's still... I'll give it a four. Another one? Wow, these flags in Massachusetts are really going with a different feel. Vertical orientation would look weird underneath this national and state flag. It would look like you know, the flags the cities put on light posts to say, welcome to the city or... You know, this district. So anyway, the city flag got terrible. So I'm going to give it a three. No, that's a, that's a two. That's a three. There's a decent flag. Finally. Um, it's not a great flag, but compared to the rest, it's a hundred, but I'll give it a seven. Another one that's kind of like a, no, that looks weird. But this one works a little bit better than those other ones. I'll give this one a four. <laughs> All right, now here's one, another one that I think, it looks, obviously, this looks terrible, right? But I'm getting a, a hippie acid trip kind of vibe here. So I don't know much about this town, but if it's a town of old hippies, this gets a 9.5. If it's just not, then it gets like a 6. I th I still think it looks pretty good. Um, Without the words, this is pretty good, but i got to give it a 3. That's pretty cool looking. That's uh looks pretty stately for a small town in Vermont, but you know, it's a good looking flag. I'll give it a seven point five. Uh, there's a nice looking flag, good color scheme. Uh, it's the state capital, so it's got something that looks kinda, you know, government ish looking on there. So that's 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 nice. I like that one a lot. I'll give it a nine. Uh the crowd like this one as much as Montpelier's. I don't. It's nice, nice looking flag. I'll give it an eight. Ooh, that's busy. Small town. New Hampshire looks very federal. Um, I'll give it a six. That's me. Eh, it's that's a five. Did I hit that? I missed that one before. It's a three. And that's a little bit better in terms of logo ones, but still just a four. Can of bunk port. That's kind of cool. Um, man, the people love that one. They like it a lot. Um, I'll give it an eight. I'm not as big on it. Auburn, uh, that's, a, that's a three. Brunswick, that's a three. Old Town. With the canoe. Oh, I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I like this one a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a city known for its canoe making. Although it, the shape of a canoe doesn't make for the best thing on a flag. But still, I think it's a good, a good flag. I'll give it an 8.5. And I think that's all of them. I don't think there were any in Alaska or Hawaii. Oh, no, there is one in Alaska. And it's a good one. All right, Seward, very good flag. Um, yeah, green ground, green mountains with the snow on it and a blue sky. Yeah, it's a really nice flag. i got to give that one a, a nine. Um, and were there any for Hawaii? does not appear that there are. So, uh, yeah, most of these flags were pretty bad. And... 
Um, one thing is very frustrating about that is that, you know, again, these were, these came up with in the past, you know, just since 2015. So the fact that this is the best they can come up with in the past seven years is pretty bad. So some of them are pretty good. So I'm going to take a look at the actual rankings that they did. And so the most popular one was Tulsa. That was my second favorite one. Reno. I'm surprised Reno was so high. That's a good flag, but so many of the Western cities look kind of like that. I liked Lincoln, Nebraska more than um, they did. Yeah, wow. West Plains. I don't like this one that much. West Plains, Missouri. That looks... I don't know. And I cannot believe Pocatello. That looks so South Park. That looks so amateurish. I, I'm surprised that one is so well liked. Um... Oh, Topeka was one that, this is my favorite one, Topeka. Um, they liked it, but not as much as I did. Um, Newton, Kansas, another really good one here. So generally speaking, I'm in general agreement with these. Um, for the most, I didn't, where was this one? I didn't see that one. Euclid, Ohio. Uh, that's about where I would rank it. So I think that's pretty good. Um, well, they don't like Mont Montpelier as much as I did. I thought that one was, but they definitely don't like Seward as much as I did. I thought that one was very fitting for Seward. Um, they don't like Old Town as much as I did. Uh, it's kind of a, a canoe can be kind of a hokey looking thing. On a, I didn't see this one either. It looks like a California flag. Um, yeah, uh, I don't like that as a as a flag for a city in Ohio. I missed this one too. Um, it's okay. It's, that's about where I'd put it. Um, <clears throat> I must have missed Iowa. I didn't because Des Moines. That's awful. That looks disgusting. <laughs> it's too busy. Um, but yeah, as you get down more and more, another, this another one of those South Park like ones. That one isn't as well liked. Think about Pocatello was at the very top, and this one is this far down, with looking the same. And as you get farther and farther down yet, yeah, I mean, this is about what you would expect. Um, I didn't see this, so I've skipped over this one as well. A city in Indiana that has an outline of Ohio on it, that's pretty bad. I'd put that one way lower than where they have it here. I like this one, Manitou Springs, a lot more than the people on here do. I thought Aberdeen is awful. I don't know how it got ranked so high. Um, the GameCube, I can't, I can't not see Nintendo GameCube with that. Um, and you get down to some of these where it's just logos and words and look how many of these look just like a stupid corporate conference flag. I mean, this is what you would, th you go to a conference, this is what the stupid flag will look like outside of it. These look awful. And again, since 2015 is when these things were designed. So, um, pretty bad. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography. I'm not doing stuff like this very often. Usually I'm talking about cities and states and ranking things, different categories and talking about road tripping and stuff, but I'm pretty nerdy. So everything comes from a nerdy type perspective, but yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King signing out.